Welcome to Srinagar, the summer capital of Jammu and Kashmir. Nestled in the lap of Himalayas, Srinagar is a beautiful city known for its serene lakes, snow-capped mountains and vibrant culture. From the stunning Mughal gardens and charming houseboats on Dal Lake to the vibrant markets and mouth-watering cuisine, Srinagar is a city that truly has it all. Join me as I explore the beautiful city and discover why it's a must-visit destination for anyone looking to experience the beauty and culture of India. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So today I'm in this beautiful city of Srinagar and I cannot wait to show you around and also explore what's in and around Srinagar. But let me first start by showing you this beautiful homestay where I'm staying at. It's a really pretty property. It's a traditional Kashmiri house that has been converted into a homestay and it's got very cozy and comfortable vibes. So let me just give you a little tour of the house. The homestay is called the Mountain View Villa, which is located in a serene locality, making it a perfect place to relax and soak in the beautiful surroundings. One of the reasons why I prefer homestays over hotels is that they offer a more authentic experience of the local life and culture. Staying with a local family gives you the opportunity to learn about their traditions and way of life. plan is to explore Srinagar like a local. Uh, first up, I'm going on a heritage walk to see some of the city's historical landmarks. Now, Srinagar has a really rich cultural heritage, so it'll be really nice to learn more about it. And so, abhi chalte hai, and let's see where the day takes us. Walking in the old city of Srinagar can be a fascinating experience. The city is dotted with ancient monuments and landmarks that tell the story of its rich history and culture. I started my day at Shahi Hamdan Mosque, which is one of the oldest and most significant mosques in Srinagar. The mosque was built in the 14th century and is known for its beautiful wooden architecture. As I walked around, I could feel a sense of peace and tranquility that set the tone for the rest of my day. After exploring the mosque, I decided to venture out into the narrow streets of old Srinagar. Walking through the narrow alleys was an adventure in itself. This area is known for its lively markets, street vendors and local shops selling everything from traditional clothes to local spices. I came across a copper workshop where I could see skilled artisans using their tools and techniques to make beautiful copperware. It was so inspiring to witness the dedication and passion of these craftsmen and their commitment to preserving traditional crafts. This time around, I had decided to embrace the essence of slow travel and really immerse myself in the Kashmiri culture. As I walked through the vibrant streets, I could see ancient monuments and landmarks that really added charm and character to the place. I saw locals going about their daily routines who were very welcoming and eager to share their stories and knowledge with me. Kashmir is known for producing high quality dry fruits like almonds, walnuts and pistachios, so I couldn't resist myself from trying some of it. They tasted absolutely delicious and it was clear that the quality of the local produce was top notch. One of the highlights of my walk was attending a pashmina workshop. I was very fascinated to learn about the process of hand spinning, weaving and embroidering this luxurious fabric. The artisans were incredibly skilled and the end products were really beautiful. But the best quality world ka pashmina hai, wo Ladakh se aata hai. Isko process karte hai. जैसे कि मोस्टली शॉल्स बनते थे पहले पश्मीना की 300 साल पहले 400 साल पहले मुगल्स के टाइम पे पश्मीना कारपेट्स बनते थे अब इन्होंने उस उन कारपेट्स को रिवाइव किया है तो अब ये दोबारा पश्मीना कारपेट्स बनाना इन्होंने स्टार्ट किया है तो पहले जब कारपेट बनता है तो उसका पहले ब्लू बनता है उसके बाद उसका कोडिंग बनता है तो ये कोडिंग है इसमें ये मैंशन किया गया है कि कौन सा कलर कहाँ पर यूज होगा 
और कितने नॉट्स यू करें एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द हिस्ट्री दे आर मेकिंग द सिंगल नॉट कारपेट बारह तेरह चौदह पंद्रह लाख बीस लाख भी होता है इसमें जो है ना इसमें फर्स्ट भी नाम नहीं बनाया इस में हमने बेस्ट ऑफ बेस्ट जीता हुआ है लंदन में अच्छा हाँ तब उस वक्त जैसे कि छोटा सा सैंपल बनाया था ना वही उन्होंने देखा था फिर जब ये तैयार हुआ तो उन्होंने बोला ये तैयार हुआ ये अब हमें दे दो उनको म्यूजियम में रखना है क्या करना है वो हमें पैसे दे रहे हैं लेकिन अब हम उनको बोल रहे हैं कि नहीं अब हम पैसे नहीं लेंगे अगर हम देंगे रॉयल्टी बेसिस क्योंकि अगर आप किसी म्यूजियम में रखेंगे जो टिकट्स आएंगे या जो पैसे आएंगे हाफ हाफ शेयर क्योंकि और इस पे डिटेलिंग होगी कि किस कारीगर ने बनाया है किस स्टेट से निकला है और टाइम जो लगा हुआ है वो लिख लेंगे वो तो यहाँ से लेंगे अपना नाम लिख देंगे एंटीक्स में शामिल होगा वो पैसे को लेकिन अब हम बोल रहे हैं नहीं अब हमारे हाँ हमारे डिमांड पे चले I was amazed by the amount of time and effort that went into creating each piece depending upon the intricacy of the design. Another very interesting workshop I visited was the paper mache studio. Paper mache is an ancient craft that has been practiced in Kashmir for centuries. The craft involves making objects by layering paper pulp over a mold and then painting the finished product with vibrant colors and intricate designs. However, in recent years the paper mache industry in Kashmir has been struggling due to a lack of support and resources. Many young people are not interested in learning the craft and the cost of raw materials and other supplies have risen, making it difficult for artisans to make a living from their work. To preserve this dying art it's a must to provide financial support to artisans and efforts should be made to raise awareness about the importance of this craft and the need to preserve it for the future generations Walking through the vibrant streets of the old city was a journey that opened my eyes to Srinagar's rich heritage and traditions I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one